Number one, the history. Gordon, tell us about it. So the history of our Jet Center event is fascinating to me, primarily because it's 30 years now, Levi. I can't believe it's been 30 years. 30 years ago, someone had to come up with the idea of integrating aviation interests and automotive interests together. And we've done that at the Monterey Jet Center with our event, and it's a hoot. It, you have everything. You have some of the latest Gulfstreams to even World War II bombers and fighters. And then you have like some old cars. You've got some weird cars. You've got some top fuel dragsters. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's that event with everything is unlike anything I've ever seen. Funny you mention that. That event is, those are all things that I see in my head when my eyes are closed. Okay. It's like the dream scene, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, I love airplanes, I love cars, love motorcycles, love all that. To be able to bring all that together and then throw in a mix of really interesting people, it's hysterical, actually, when you get it all together. It really is, it's fun. Well, all right, there's number one. Number two, the eclectic genres of cars. There's everything there. You literally will have a car that a guy made by hammering aluminum on a stump <laughs> to a car that, like that Bugatti aero fin or whatever it was, mm -hmm. that I had only ever seen on Instagram and pictures and, and had never even actually got to see in person. All of a sudden I'm pushing it into place. You have something for everybody. How do you figure that out? How do you, and, and every year you do something different. Well, and that's the idea, is to, is to mix it up every year. It's a bit of a challenge, but you know, I'm a car guy to through and through. So yeah. I know a few folks in the, in the car world, and I just reach out and invite people to bring their crazy stuff. You get all those things together, like that Bugatti Aerolift that mm -hmm. is literally a one-off hand-built. You put that next to the latest supercar from yeah. a manufacturer. Um, yeah, they're both cars, they both have four wheels, but a world of difference between them. That's what I love, the contrast. There's something about pulling from the engineering of the turn of the century when the car first was born yeah. to modern day stuff. Getting that together in an environment like that, I, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's knee buckling stuff. I've actually seen people stagger when they see, like you said, something that they saw on the internet or in a book or a TV, whatever, there it is. Yeah. And the person standing next to it is the person that designed and built it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's amazing. It's absolutely insane. Number three, the eclectic people. Now, myself, Anthony, Dane, Next Day Nate, and Sydney, we were doing some people watching. And I have never had more fun than at that event because you had YouTube stars, you had Instagram influencers, and then you had people that I didn't even know existed. But you have car designers, car builders, you have everybody there and everyone is having a great time and it's fun to see people that I, uh, I maybe thought like a little too fancy, mm -hmm. checking out an old rusted patinaed pickup and really enjoying it. And I think that was the coolest thing is you felt we're all car folks, we're all gearheads, and we're all enjoying ourselves. And I think that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen there. Well, you know, Levi, that's by design. It really is. Uh, 3,000 people is a fair amount of people to that's have a in lot one, of one place at one time. Uh, the common denominator, like you said, it's passion. It's passion for motor cars, it's passion for aircraft, it's passion for motorcycles. And it doesn't matter what someone's background is, that passion is what comes out. Mm -hmm. And when you see that passion coming out at a party where there's food, lots of things to drink, uh, lots of fun to be had. Uh, it's a cross section. Like personally, I, you know, I never know what it's gonna look like, quite frankly, when there, it's happening. You have you know? celebrities there. You yeah. have heads of car companies there. <laughs> like you have everybody who's anybody will be at that party. And that I think is the most amazing thing. And we're all on the same, we're all on the same level. Yeah. We're all enjoying uh, the same stuff. Yeah. That's what I love about it. It is some serious people watching though. I have, I have to admit, it's, it's grade A people watching. It's pretty rad. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, the Detail Mafia. Now, when I first heard about this job, I didn't quite understand what it was. I thought we were just wiping down a few cars. Didn't realize how many cars or what was actually entailed for that entire day of work. <laughs> but some amazing stuff. 
25 million dollar cars mm -hmm. in one car we got to do a quick light polish on it mm -hmm. there's one offs one of the only one in existence we're gonna polish it with metal polish <laughs> to try and get it shined up you know or there are worse some of the cars we're just wiping down with some bead maker mm -hmm. some quick detailer why do you why did you bring on all these detailers to help with this project what did you see what do you need starts with a personal relationship with Bob Phillips and Rennie Doyle from PNS 40 years of God, a relationship that's a long time I think I'm uh, I'm living proof that PNS products are safe to use <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's true 40 years later I'm still here so the detail mafia has been a game changer with our event hands down I've got to believe it's the only event of its kind where cars show cars in particular leave an event looking better than they did when they arrived and that's all because of the detail mafia so not only does the detail mafia go to great lengths to prepare the cars that are there on display but they get to meet the owners they're part of the party as well they are in the fabric of what makes this event successful uh, relationships get developed people learn more about car care uh, these are people that typically take their car somewhere to have it done. right they don't really get the interaction on a regular basis. At our event, they're meeting the pros. They're meeting the best in the business. They're learning about the best towels made. They're learning about the best products made. And it's an education, all cleverly disguised as a party. It, it is, and I will say you do it very well because I never realized how many of those people when we'd come up to their car to work on it or get it ready after it was placed and wipe it down, how many of them would come up and ask questions? What are you using? What kind of product is that? This is what I use. And they'd pop their trunk and they'd yeah. show us what they had. Yep. Why shouldn't I use this? Why do I need that? And it was all of a sudden, that's what every single person that was part of the event was doing. All the detailers were teaching and training while we were working on their cars. All night long. Put the lemon pledge down, pick the bead maker up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Number five, why you want to come back. Now, I remember hearing on a podcast about your party and a famous person, I'll leave him unnamed, okay. talked about the event. Mm. And I remember hearing about it, and this was probably 2008, 2009, maybe 10, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, this is amazing. This sounds like a really great time. Then the next year when I looked it up, completely different. Hmm. Do you do this all the time? Do you, do you keep it the same people, same cars? Do you change it up? Do you bring in different events? Do you have different planes? Do you have different, how do you, how do you make it so that people want to come back every year? So it's never the same, to answer your question. It's never been the same two years in a row. There are certain uh, people that come every year, uh, but the airplanes, the cars, we mix it up every year. So why wouldn't you want to come back? It's an easy question. There's no way you saw everything. There's just no way you saw everything and met everybody you wanted to meet. The night goes by pretty fast. And so, you know, there's a lot left on the table. So, hey, come on back next year. Uh, perhaps you won't see what you missed this year, but you'll see some really cool stuff that's there that year. Well, there you go. All right, guys, this has been five things as to why the McCall event is a bucket list item. Happens every year during car week at Monterey. So, as always, make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos right here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.